In the deadly fentanyl fight in Colorado, controversial testing strips that some lawmakers believe could save lives. Deaths are on the rise across the state. Just last week, we learned of a student at Mitchell High School who died after not realizing she was taking fentanyl. Caradio News Channel 13 senior reporter Sydney Stell joins us live in the newsroom with more on a new bill in the state legislature. Sydney. Mallory Heather, the El Paso County coroner told me today that there's no simple solution to fix the fentanyl crisis in our community, but helping people understand what they're taking is a place to start. The fentanyl crisis is growing dramatically in El Paso County, the number of deaths doubling every year since 2017, the impact on kids growing too. A few months ago, we saw our largest jump in, in kids we've ever seen. In Colorado Springs School District 11, three kids have died so far from fentanyl overdoses this school year alone. In many of these cases, particularly with the youth, uh, there's absolutely no way that, that they know that this is fentanyl. But a new bill just announced by Governor Polis aims in part to help people know what they're taking. If passed, it would provide state funding for fentanyl testing strips, so anyone could test any pill or powder for the presence of fentanyl before taking it. It would even allow Colorado schools to pass testing strips out to their students. It's a harm reduction tool, much like you'd say, hey, we have fire prevent, we have, we have fire extinguishers, and we have AEDs. But it's not without controversy. You don't want to be uh, perceived as enabling or promoting drug use. The fentanyl strips aren't going to solve the problem. Um, they aren't going to fix the underlying issue. But what they do is give an addict, someone who has a disease, uh, a chance at survival. Dr. Kelly says that now you have to assume that any illegally trafficked drug contains fentanyl and even the smallest amount can kill. We're talking about you know, grains of sand of amount of this drug. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. You can't see it. You don't know it's there. Uh, but even tiny amounts have the potential to end people's life. Now, this new state bill also aims to harshen the penalties for distributing fentanyl, but it doesn't change the fact that possessing it in smaller but still lethal amounts remains a misdemeanor, not a felony in Colorado. Reporting from our newsroom, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.